Hello Divers, Wanderer here. Welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. So I've tried to play this game a couple of times, and uh, every time I've tried, I've just gotten distracted by something else, basically. Something, either real life has come up, and I just haven't had time to make videos for it, or I'd want to do a different series, like Frost or Horizon or whatever. So what I'm going to do with this series is, this is going to be an extra project for me. I'm not going to replace any of my Frost or Horizon daily videos. Uh, right now I'm just doing Frost, but that might change in the future if we get a, a Horizon update. So I will still have those daily videos for you guys every day, without fail, no matter what. But this will be an extra type thing I will do on the side as I have time and as I have the energy to do it. So um, I'm going to start a new game here on Hardcore. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature is Drop pond deployed. I love that intro. Enjoy your stay, and by the way, here's your life pod. It's destroyed. So, um, this is not my first go around with with Below Zero, as I have mentioned before. Um, I have played it a little bit in the past. Um, didn't get super far into the game. I think the first I got was like episode six, but it was a very it was a very struggle bus uh, episode six. Like I had a lot of trouble finding the stuff that I need and stuff, and um, hoping that now that I have a bit more knowledge of the game, I'll be able to kind of zoom through the early game stuff, which is kind of the frustrating area I think for people. I don't even know why I'm picking up these flares. We're gonna drop them. Let's be honest, we're not even gonna use them ever. Gotta warm up a bit here by the fire. Mainly here, I just want the nutrient blocks. Those are very, very valuable because they're a they're a very limited resource. But everything else, I could really not care too much about. We'll get plenty of uh, water and stuff later on. Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. So as I said, I won't be uh, replacing any Frost, any uh, Fallout 4, like, main videos with uh, with these videos. I'll be doing this just as a kind of an extra thing, so if these are uploaded, they'll be... What the hell? What the world? I guess I didn't want that, that titanium... Uh, that, ugh, I can't talk. I guess I didn't want that titanium that bad after all. Titanium is hard to say when you're talking too fast. So this is on a hardcore, so I have to really be vigilant about watching my oxygen meter because they're, unlike the first New Subnautica, there is no warning when you get low on oxygen in this one, and it's really, really easy. Like, I don't have a problem um, if I'm just playing the game by myself and not doing commentary, but when I'm doing commentary, it is so easy for me to just neglect watching my... Uh, my meter and, you know, as asphyxiate underwater, drown. It's really, really easy to do. At least for me, so I need to be very, very careful about that. So where is our drop pod? It's over in that direction. 200 meters, quite a ways away, so... Alright, we're gonna get some basic resources here. We need some quartz. 
Oh, you... One of you guys... Already, really? Come on, get me out of this thing. So rude. So yeah, I gotta keep an eye on that water, or that uh, oxygen meter. Even when it's like later in the game, I'll probably forget about it while I'm talking to you guys and uh, end up dying. So I have to be very careful about that. I actually debated if I should do survival or a hardcore, but I figured, you know, I got through the first one on hardcore. This is only a minor change. I'm not going to switch it up now. A lot of people really, really enjoy the uh, hardcore aspect of it. And uh, I think Subnautica is one of the most fair and balanced, at least the first one was, uh, hardcore games there is. Like, you have to really kind of go out of your way to die New creature discovered. in Subnautica. Like, as long as you're careful and don't do stupid things, you're pretty unlikely to die, you know? As long as you're a cautious player, which I am typically pretty cautious, so I don't foresee that being too much of a problem. There's um, a second cave along the wall here. I remember that, too. There's a second cave along the, the wall near the uh, area where you jump in. There are actually two starting points you can jump in from. Because the, the path kind of diverges in the beginning there. And uh, one has a bunch of copper. And one has a bunch of silver and gold, which is right over here, actually. So we're going to stop by and get both of these. And I'll probably end up dropping... A bunch of my, uh, yep, we're full. A bunch of my flares, because I just don't have room for them. Maybe bladderfish. You can always get more bladderfish, you know? It's, I don't need that many flares here, though. There we go. It should be good. We are now full. We're only 100 meters away. I'm just going to swim over to our, our drop pod here. So, yeah, here's hoping for a quick start. Did I get any quartz at all? I didn't. So I'm going to drop a couple more of those. I need some air. Cutting it a little close there. Okay, I'm only picking up quartz on our way over to our drop pod. Quartz and only quartz. I just never found too much use for flares. I mean, you get the flashlight and you have the uh, the flashlight on the... Oh, we got the cash already. Nice. Got the uh, visual marker for the cache anyway. I just, yeah, I never found it to be terribly useful compared to other stuff in the game. Okay, we are full. So let's get let's get in here and drop off our stuff and make some stuff and uh, get going on our journey. Found the drop pod. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower's as easy to spot as Lil said. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. I wonder if Sam is actually alive. Don't tell me if she is. I want to keep that spoiler-free and all that, but just thinking out loud, you know, makes me wonder... Okay, so we need uh, lots of electrolytic material, a.k.a. ribbon plants, and just general minerals and stuff to get ourselves going here. We also need to get a scanner as well. That will be priority number one, because I've already seen a couple of sea glide fragments, and once we get the sea glide, we can ramp up our exploration exponentially. 
So let's make that a priority, eh? I think, in fact, we might be able to do it already. I, there's another sea light fragment over there I thought I saw. Maybe. Last time, I don't know if it was the location I was in or what, but I just had so many issues finding uh, the materials I needed for... or to, to find the... Um, Oh, it's a very square-looking piece of sunlight shaft coming through. I, I had a, a just a heck of a time finding the stuff I needed, basically, to make the or the uh, the pieces, the fragments. God, use your words, wanderer. Use your words. I couldn't find the fragments to scan, and uh, yeah, it was a problem. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area. But luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Okay, next goal will be to get the sea glide fragments and, uh some silicone rubber, which is going to be from the, um, the big plants or whatever, the big seaweed plants. It looks like there might be some of that over here. And that, no, it's, that's not sea light. That's a, uh, it's a chunk of quartz over here. Wow, it's really getting dark quick. Okay, here we go. Grab a bunch of these real quick. New blueprints now we've got sides. plenty for a while. It's actually kind of surprisingly easy to see, to spot um, sea light fragments in the dark here because they kind of glow. So it's actually not a bad strategy to be out here at night looking around, just kind of looking down. Scoping out the ocean floor for those sea glide fragments. I think they're going to be probably further up, though. I don't really need a whole bunch more food. There's one. I need three in uh, below zero, so. So you make the. Um... Oh, it's over here. I don't really have the air to go down there just right now. Make the knife, which requires silicon rubber, which we get from uh, the creep vine clusters. I, don't I know I should scan these, but I don't really care if I know what they do already. They only have one purpose that I'm aware of, which is to make batteries. Yeah, we, we go through the progress. We we uh, make the um, the knife with the creep vine cluster, then we go chop off some samples. And then, uh... That's not a sea light fragment. That is a sea light fragment, though. Maybe? No, it's a mushroom. Never mind. Okay, yeah, we do this. We need some lubricant, too. At least one, if not two lubricants. I'll go ahead and make a couple of them. Can maybe make fins as well. Might be kind of nice. Plus, these things are huge, so, um... I don't want to keep them around. That should be like all the lubricant we need in the whole game, I would assume. More batteries are always good too. Out of copper though. Maybe we should have saved that copper for copper wire, but it's fine. Fins, yes, let's do it. Uh, need glass for flashlight and then we're good. And I have the stuff for a knife. Okay, let's organize here. So, knife goes on one. Scanner's on two. Flasher's on three. Everything else goes into here. We're not going to have room. That's okay. We'll make a storage locker for now. I hate making these lockers because... They don't give a ton of storage and they require four titanium. Which is not a great trade. But I've just kind of, uh, just kind of accepted my fate that I have to use them in the beginning of the game because it does take a while 
to get all the stuff you need in the beginning. Okay, that will do. What is, uh, this thing goes on three. Got it. Okay, sea glide, sea glide, sea glide. That is priority number one right now. Let's get this, let's get the thing scanned and get, chop off some, uh, some parts of some seaweed. I see some kelp over there in the distance. We'll check over there and we'll look for sea glide fragments on the way over. Perhaps we get lucky. Ooh. I almost forgot right there, guys. Thank goodness I was right near the surface, or else I'd be dead right now. I am not going to read every last little, uh, thing in this game. Just warning you now. Um, I will read some things. I will scan some things. But... It just isn't necessary to read every last little thing in the game. At this point, I think, um, if you're watching this, it's probably not because you've never watched a Subnautica playthrough before. I mean, maybe you haven't. Maybe some of you haven't. Maybe I should read everything. I don't know. Tell me what you want in the comments, guys. If you really want me to read everything, I'll read everything. If not, then I am totally content to not read everything. I'll read the most important stuff and, uh, leave the rest so we can get on with the story because... I'm impatient sometimes, and reading is not my strongest suit. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't seen more sea light fragments yet. I'm getting lots and lots. I guess we'll just get all the titanium and stuff too. We can always make more lockers, I suppose. The, the thing I hate about lockers is that you can't... You cannot unmake them. You can't deconstruct them. They're one of the few things in Subnautica that you can't deconstruct. And therefore, uh, any, any that you make are just wasted because you can never, ever... You can never use that titanium for anything else ever again. Even though it's not like it's particularly... There we go, Sea Glide. It's not particularly rare or anything. We're going to be having excess, most likely. Because we will need... It's a little risky. Get up, get up there. We're good. Lost my train of thought when I was surprised by the fact that I was almost dying from asphyxiation. Oops. There we go, Sea Glide Fragment number three. See, this took me like an hour in the original uh, playthrough because I just could not find the damn things. I don't know if they buffed like how many are available in the early game or what, but uh, this is much, much better now. Where are we at? I don't have a compass, so I guess I don't really know. I feel like directionally, I feel like I'm south of uh, the base, but I don't really know. How full are we? Eh, I need a lot more copper. So we just gotta smack these, uh, these things. So that should be everything I need, I think. I, I need a couple copper for a copper wire for the Sea Glide. Um, I should unpin those things too. I have the, well, I don't have it yet. I have to get the, um, the seaweed, the kelp. Then we'll have the stuff we need for the better O2 tank. I can stop worrying so much about dying. Got enough room to get a couple more of these things. Um, kelp. Yes, kelp. I need some kelp. Of course, now I don't need it. I find more sea light fragments. That's how it goes. I'll find like a million of them now. Because I've already got it. Only when it doesn't matter, then you find a ton of them, right? Okay, we're by the, uh, the shelf or whatever, the, um, the land mass over here. I think one of the things I like the most about the Subnautica games is the ambience in them. And that's a really important thing that I think a lot of people don't 
give enough credit for in games, I guess, uh, is the ambience, which is just, you know, the, the music and the general feel of the game, the atmosphere of it. Um, and I've realized in the past, uh, you know, five years or so of making videos and playing video games and stuff that it's really, really important to me. Ambience is really, really a big deal. Blueprint okay, we are full there, so we're going to go back. I actually want one more of these. I think I'm going to drop like one titanium here so I can get one more one more chunk of creep vine here because it's uh, two creep vine to make a fiber mesh, I think. I think I need... Uh, I'll need two of them. I only need one right now, but I'll need two pretty shortly. The... Uh, what is it? The... Ooh, air. Oh, God. Jesus. That's like three near deaths already. This does not bode well, guys. It does not bode well at all. Need it for the rebreather is what you need the fiber mesh for, though. All right, let's do this. Uh, fiber mesh. Fiber mesh, go. That's all of them. Cool. Now we can make the O2 tank and breathe a little bit longer. Won't matter, though, because I will still forget. Okay, I need a copper wire and wiring kit for this. Let's, um... Let me unpin some of these things here. So, I need to unpin that. Unpin. 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 We got this made. Pin that one. Pin that one. Lubricant copper wire battery. Easy. Easy peasy. I do think I actually have everything for that. That's cool. Pretty good progress, eh? Uh, what did I need? Lubricant. I think I put it outside. There she be. Only like 20 minutes in and we've already got a sea glide going. The sea glide is a personal transportation device. Excellent. Used Sorry, for speed four. free diving. Contains a built-in light and map. I'm going to need a lot more batteries, so I'm going to go ahead and make a few more of these. I also need some copper wire for the compass. Need sulfur for the um, this thing. Need a wiring kit. I need some silver for that, which we do have thanks to our secret stash over there in the beginning. So we can go ahead and make that wiring kit. Go ahead and undo that. And we need to make the compass. Undo that one. The repair tool is the last thing we need, which we need. Uh, we have the rubber for it. We just need crystalline sulfur, which is going to be in a cave somewhere nearby. And that should be about all. I don't need all these on me right now, so... The majority of the stuff in here, I'll keep a battery on me, and the rest of the stuff hopefully I can shove into... Just, these are just regular water, right? Yeah, not the good water. Rest of the stuff I can shove in the locker out there. Could use some food, I guess. So, um... New creature discovered. Peepers, you shall all be mine. I mean, whatever. I'll take these guys, too, but... The highly nutritious eyeballs of the peepers are my preferred food. I don't know about you guys. It's what I like to eat. Exclusively, if I can get the, uh, the numbers of them to do so. I didn't need you, Bladderfish, but you were right in my way, so... You cannot outrun me now, Peeper. Oh, it feels good to have the Sea Glide back. That's the worst part of the early game, is going so slow. No fins, no Sea Glide, no fun. Okay, I'll crab up the... Oh, 
I'll crap up this cookie fish. I'll cook up this crappy fish first and eat that, and then we'll fill ourselves up with the peeper if we need to. Now we're already full. We're already good. I'm gonna need one more locker though, aren't I? Pretty sure. Need one more here. I'm gonna try to get the um, Habitat Builder ASAP. Since I'm pretty sure I know where it is now. Alright, put that on five. Deploy. Okay, all of you go into here. And we're good. We're good, boys. Okay, caves. We're gonna go find some caves and find some uh, cave sulfur, which means going to a bit deeper area and finding some sea monkey caves, which is what I'm calling them, the, the yellowish colored areas. Like this. Hey, grav trap. No, it's sea light. Never mind. Whatever, scan it. Get out of the way so I don't look at it again. Vehicle bay? Nice vehicle bay. We got some O2 here as well. Check around for minerals here. I can see better. Yes, it's a flashlight. She's like, ooh, there is light. Yes, it's a flashlight, Robin. Good job. You figured it out. This will not be deep enough, though, I don't think, to really get the stuff we need or we want around here. This goes quite a bit deeper. I don't know if I want to go that deep just yet. I mean, maybe if there are um, lots of... There are O2 plants around. Maybe I'll be okay. I'm going to need some um, coral as well. goes pretty deep over here. Okay, there's some coral there. I, th I saw another. Yeah, there's one. Oh, is this the alien guy already? He's already talking to us. That sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. More... We have more O2 stuff, or do I got to go back up? Yes, we got more O2 down here. Lots of the uh, electrolyte type material here. Yeah, I just can't get it out of here. That way I'm not looking at it again. Oh, look, I found the... Um, the thingy. Wow, we're pretty deep. There is an auction thing over here, though. I'm gonna grab it and try to grab some of this stuff. We are below 100 meters, so we are sucking up the O2 quite quickly. Gotta be swift here. Yes, rebreather. Good job. Get the desk, too. Why not? Um, I don't see any more... I do, actually. Actually, I do. Okay, this is the alien area already. Don't want to go in here already? I mean, I could... There is ample O2 in here. Oh! Nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow yourself up. Good job. I'm so proud of you for suiciding on me. Give me that sulfur. There's a whole bunch of coral over there. I'm going to grab a couple more of those because... Another one of those guys. Okay, that's cool. And we've got some nice minerals here. I'm going to grab really quickly. If I just keep kind of circling this area... Yeah, these O2 plants should just kind of repopulate. And even though I don't have a rebreather or anything yet, I should be able to um, sustain myself pretty well underground here, underwater here, even though we're pretty deep. In before I can't find one and die, but, you know. So 
So far, so good. Just scan these walls for minerals. Need a lot more of those uh, silver and lead primarily. We'll take quartz too. How far are we? We're getting there. Okay, well, I guess we go over and uh, do the alien thing over here Warning. and get that, uh, 200 meters. get that Oxygen done. Efficiency greatly decreased. critical. Hello? Is someone there? In speaking. We're running out of time. What is all this? Seeking an emergency storage museum. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? No, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning. Sanctuary power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Yes, okay. Hurrying. One sec, guys. I want to see what the option for screenshot is here, because I need, I need uh, thumbnails for this, so, uh... Okay, good to go. Let's insert our storage medium and make a new friend. Storage medium accepted. Brace from Brace? Ah! Ah! What's happening? Chancellor. Complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component! You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Oh, poor Robin. probably scan this stuff too, I guess. Apparently this is uh, Subnautica Hardcore Speedrun Edition because I'm just flying through the story here. But that's because I know what the early game is, I guess, and I kind of stumbled upon this early and thought, uh, why not? Oh my god, I'm stuck. There we go. Can I scan this or anything? No, I don't think I can. Okay, guys. Well, I think I am probably going to wrap up this first episode here, and we'll continue in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoy this, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more. See you next time.